Hey guys, it has been three weeks today since my gastric sleeve surgery and I am really happy to see this day come. Um, I have lost 27.8 pounds as of today and I am really pleased with the weight loss. 27.8 pounds in 21 days, that's, uh, that's pretty legit. I'm really happy with those results. Um, also today is the end of my restrictions as far as <clears throat> I can now take uh, tub baths instead of showers. I'm really excited about that because I really enjoy <laughs> having a long hot bath. Um, also lifting restrictions are off. Uh, which is fantastic news for me since I have four toddlers, two of them are still in cribs, and I've had to have people come and help put them to bed uh, each night because I can't lift over 25 pounds, but I can now, so I'm really excited. Um, what I'm eating now, or what I am, uh, have been okay to eat for this third week is canned uh, chicken or tuna. I am not a fan of eating meat. I really don't enjoy meat. I don't enjoy the texture uh, of any kind of meat really. I sincerely hate any kind of red meat. Uh, but it's either eat meat, uh, tuna or chicken, or drink shakes and the lesser of the two evils for me is the meat so it's only a couple ounces a couple of four ounces a day gets me the protein that I need instead of the the chocolate shakes and so that's what I'm doing now um, when I get to the point down the road which is a few weeks away where I can have actual salads and uh, grains, I will probably go back to being a non-meat eater. Uh, I, I just actually prefer the way I feel. And uh, it might be a little harder to get the protein in um, due to the size of my stomach, uh, not eating meat. But I really overall feel better when I don't eat meat or any kind of dairy. So. That's just personal preference. Um, what else? Oh, stalls. Stalls is a term that I have come to um, know uh, this past week because I felt like I was in a stall. Stalls are when your weight loss just stops for a little while and it's normal. Um, for about three or four days, I hadn't lost a pound, but a pound. I lost a pound, and that was it. And I've <clears throat> been losing, uh, well, the week before last, I lost eight pounds. And so I expected the same loss this week, but it didn't happen. Uh, I still lost, but not eight pounds. Um, but it's normal. Your body is just trying to catch up. Uh, it's trying to adjust. To what's happening to it. I actually started counting my calories to see exactly how much I was taking in and I'm averaging about six to seven hundred calories a day plus everything that I do around the house plus walking. So it's nothing that I'm doing wrong. It's just my body's way of saying okay I need a break. Let me figure out what's going on here and we'll start again. So, I'm pleased with, uh, with uh, my weight loss this week, and I know that it's going to pick right back up in the next week. Um, what you can expect as far as, uh, if you have an emotional attachment to food, I recommend that you learn to deal with that now, even have... Um, therapy uh, because you can fall back into your old habits and you can regain the weight 
this surgery is not a, a magic bullet. It's not. It's a tool. It's a fantastic tool, but it's just a tool. You're not going to have this surgery and just lose the weight and then live happily ever after. That's just not how it works. You still have to exercise. You still have to eat right because even though you're eating less, you can graze all day long. And if stress makes you overeat today, you need to deal with that in some way. I recommend therapy. If it gets bad, I mean, that's how I've always dealt with stress. So far, I haven't had any issues uh, with it. I've been keeping myself busy with other things. After the babies go to bed, well, in the past, at night is when I usually ate the most after the babies went to bed. It's a habit that I developed years ago when I was under a tremendous amount of stress daily and the only time I had any peace was at night when everyone was asleep and I never broke that habit and you don't ever lose habits you just replace them with new ones and better ones hopefully so I've been writing in my journal I recommend that to anyone whether you're on a weight loss journey or not to journal I've been um, crafting I've been experimenting with <laughs> different nail polish. I really like this. It's OPI. I, I don't know the, the, I couldn't tell you the names, but I'm doing my nails more. I'm just trying to do things to keep busy to not want to snack because snacking will be the downfall of this weight loss. And, uh, and people have a misconception that you, you're going to have surgery and you're going to just lose weight and never have a problem again. And that's just simply not true. You have to work at it. So whether it's talking to other people, uh, there's a weight loss uh, a message board that I really enjoy uh, finding out new information, talking to other people about, you know, the journey they're on and where they're at and, and everything. It's called the bariatricpal.com um, go on there and check it out um, you'll find a lot of friends and uh, people going through the same struggles whether you're post-op or pre-op or just investigating there's all walks of life there <clears throat> so that's about all uh, I have to talk about today it's been a great day I've really uh, enjoyed this journey so far, and uh, if you have any questions or you want to talk, just send me a message. I'm here for you. Okay. Bye-bye.